Good morning, everyone. I am back for part two of setting up the changing area. So this is where I left off yesterday. After I stopped yesterday's vlog, I washed the baby laundry like I said I was going to. So it's here. And I only got to wash one load. So I think I have one more load of laundry that I need to wash today. That's just baby items. And as you can see, after I opened yesterday's packages, I did not put anything away and the packaging is still sitting there. So I'm gonna clean that up, get something else in here um, to be able to organize baby boy's clothes. I'm probably gonna move the car seat into this little um, area right there. I'm probably gonna put it where that bag is. And I think I'll go get one of the Reborns to sit in here with me while I clean and organize. I'm going to put the changing pad cover back on this and take this blanket off because I washed that with this load of laundry here. And I am waiting on more packages to arrive today. Like I said, I have the organization cart coming in the mail, so I can't wait to take that out and put it together. Hopefully, it won't be too complicated and I can go ahead and put it together without my husband's help. I'm going to try. Um, I think I forgot to mention what time it is in the morning. It is a little bit past 9 a.m. and I'm hoping to have this done, like completely done today, other than buying like little tiny essentials that need to go on the um, cloth diapering cart. Okay, I cleaned out this corner a bit and I moved this thing of plastic drawers in here. We don't have a dresser for our son. Um, we just haven't been able to find one for a decent price that's really good quality at all. Not even secondhand on Marketplace or anything like that. So this will do for now and um, when he goes up to the next size of clothes as he grows, I have different size clothes in different totes that are labeled in size so that I can just easily transfer them into here um, for the size he's wearing at the current time. So in two of the drawers I had some girly things for the Reborn dolls. So those will be going somewhere else. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet but um, this is all the zero to three month girls clothes I have. I might have a few more things, but not very many. And then the bibs and burp cloths. I put the hamper here. And this is the drawer that had the girls' clothes. Those are dreft scent beads that you throw in the wash. Um, so they smell like baby powder, but I'm going to be taking those out. Then in here I have newborn boys sleepwear and long sleeve rompers so we have two gowns here I have another gown or two that has to go in here I have um, four newborn zip up uh, like swaddle sacks then there are three sleepers in here right now and three non-footed sleepers there will be more going in here um, some of the stuff that is folded up in that um, bin is going in here. And the bottom one had like two small things in it, so I took those out. And I still haven't gone to get a doll out of the crib to sit in here with me, so I think I'll do that now. Here's the reborn doll that's going to be hanging out with me in here today. So you all know this baby as a boy named Jonah, but I changed him to a girl. I'm not really sure if this is temporary or not, but I just wasn't, I don't know. 
I wasn't really enjoying this baby and I don't know why. I'm finding that I really love sleeping babies better in my collection. Like I just bond with them better and enjoy them more and I don't really know why. But this baby is super cute as a girl or a boy. Just look at that expression. <laughs> and those beautiful blue eyes are just gorgeous. These are the most um, realistic doll eyes that I've ever seen. She's so cute. <laughs> and if I keep this doll a girl, I have no idea what I would name her at all. Absolutely no idea. But she is in the boppy lounger. So I brought it in here and I put a blanket over it. Okay, now let's get to organizing. bright in here so I know the light is washing out this baby's coloring but I wanted to try out the car seat I haven't washed the insert yet and um, you can't really put really dark things against Reborn's vinyl because the coloring could come off on them and stain them so I had her in a sleeper already and I got her a hat so that we could try out the car seat this is the first time I have ever strapped a doll into the car seat. This is the one that we picked out for our son for so many safety reasons. Um, I love the safety features in this car seat. This is the Bugaboo Turtle by Nuna. But anyway, she looks so cute in it. Um, she's a very long baby. A very long baby. I'm thinking about taking this piece out. I can understand why they would put it there for the extra cushion for the baby, but I don't know. I just feel like it's too bulky and like the baby would be uncomfortable because they would have to sit like that. So I might end up taking that out before um, our son arrives. Look how adorable she is. I love it so much. One of my packages arrived, the one with the organization cart in it. It is late afternoon now and it's raining outside, so you might be able to hear it. But let's try to put this thing together and see if it works. Okay, I was filming a time lapse of putting the cart together and um, my camera quit. I'm pretty sure it just died, so I just went and switched the battery, but I got it together. It actually was pretty simple. I just needed a much better um, screwdriver than the one that they provide in the box, but the um, other frustrating thing was this little wrench right there that you put um, the wheels on with. And the wheels were 
like really greasy. So other than that though, it was pretty simple to put together. And just as I finished putting that together, um, my other package arrived and an unexpected package. So I will set this cart up now where it's supposed to go and then I will open those packages. So the unexpected package was this um, little book set. It's only one book, but it's actually two books. Hold on. This is one of the little critter books. Well, two of them. You just flip it over for the other book on the other side. Um, this is Just Me and My Mom and Just Me and My Dad by Mercer Mayer. And I guess somebody sent it from our baby registry. Um, the note says, hi, Tori and Joshua, all the best for the arrival of your little man from Lydia, oh, Linda, sorry, <laughs> Linda Walters. It's hard to read. Thank you so much, Linda. Oh my goodness. I loved these books when I was a child. So adorable. Thank you so much. Um, and then the other thing that I got, sorry about the weird angle here. Okay, and then the other thing I got was a Blueberry Simplex cloth diaper. Um, I'm really, really excited to try this brand of cloth diaper on our son. And it has the little um, umbilical cord snap down, which is why I purchased it. Because I don't have enough of those yet for him. So, this is in um, a rainbow print. So I love that it has all the colors. I am trying to figure out where I want everything on the cart now. And I'm trying to organize some of my caddies that I have. So um, I just have tossed some disposables in here. These are all organic um, or hypoallergenic um, diapers. So I think most of them are organic though. They're honest diapers. So they're the... Um, organic biodegradable ones which is great because um, when we are on the go we may end up disposable diapering um, if we're going out for like an entire day um, quick trips will still be cloth diapering and we're going to be using disposables for the first couple days after our son is born and then I have wipes in here there's all different kinds of wipes water wipes i have an honest wipe sample in here um there's some huggies down there i got those for free i didn't buy them but they are the i think the pure or yeah they're the natural care ones for sensitive skin so those will probably go in the diaper bag if we're having a disposable diapering day um I have this wipe case and it has water wipes in it right now. I don't know if that's what's going to stay in this caddy, but that's what's in here right now. And then I have this one. I hate this caddy so much. I paid way too much for it. It was the only kind that Bye Bye Baby had that wasn't like $40. And I should have just ordered one on Amazon in the first place, but I didn't. So anyway... Um, this has dividers, but I took them out because I'm planning on using this one for a bath caddy. While I was eating lunch, I had some towels and washcloths in the washer washing. So I'm going to fold those and put some in here. did a bit more organizing in here here's what it looks like now and 
the rolling cart is perfect next to the changing table so I'm very happy with that and I still have a little bit more I should do in here but I am so tired and it's um, early evening now so I think it's about six o'clock on the rolling cart I have some organic disposables and the newborn all-in-one cloth diapers that have the snap down for um, baby's umbilical cord and then I have the bath caddy under that and at the very bottom I have some more newborn all-in-one cloth diapers and some wipes and um, I think that's pretty much it down there and then on the changing table I have my other cloth diapers those are all the really big ones so those are the next size up from the newborn all-in-ones they're a um, one size most of them are bum genius I actually there are some that are fitted ones back there too that are kind of like extras the basket all the way at the bottom is full of the inserts for those diapers then the wet bags are in that blue polka dotted caddy and then the hamper is there now and I turned the plastic drawers I still have a lot of clothes that I need to put in here but I'm gonna again do that probably tomorrow or another day so I hope you all enjoyed this little like two-day vlogs of putting the changing area together I love how it turned out I still need some essentials to put on the cart like little things hand sanitizer um, changing pad liners and a couple of other things like that when everything is absolutely complete and I have everything in here I will do another video for you guys of a tour of the nursery area and the changing area all right enough rambling I hope you all enjoyed this video and thanks for watching everyone